Hello everyone. Today we're going to create a eliminate effect that will be applied to enemy characters when we kill them. In this example we use a coin eliminated. Of course, we can replace the coin mesh with any other meshes we like, as long as it suits the effect. Okay, so let's take a look at how to create this effect. First, we need a mesh that can be used in Niagara. Here we're using a coin as an example. By modifying the base color, we can change the coin's color. Then we have a character, that's all the assets we need. Now let's create Niagara. Add Mesh Renderer. Find the coin. We also need to change the emitter to GPU simulation so that it will be easier to calculate collision. Then, as usual, change the life cycle to self and once. That's it. Add spawn burst and set it to 1000. Now we can see that this is a very large coin. So let's change its size in the initialized particle to a smaller size. Here we set it to 0.02. Okay, this size is fine. Then change the lifetime as well, 9 to 10. The particle duration needs to be longer to ensure that the effect is fully displayed. There are two preset colors here. The first is black and the second is white. Use random integers, so we will get both gold and silver coins. Okay, now we can see it clearly, gold and silver. Next, we need to attach the coin to the character, so add a skeletal mesh location and select sample random triangles. We can also add initial mesh orientation, set a random rotation for the initial coins. Finally we need to make these coins burst when they are spawned. Add a velocity from point, its speed is set to a random 100 to 500. Velocity origin is set to the sample position of the mesh, because we don't want these coins to be affected by only one point. Single position is bad, set velocity origin as the initial position of each triangles. This is in line with our expected effect. Then add wind force in particle update. Let's fix the issue. Now we have a wind module, aerodynamic drag, and aligned sprite to mesh orientation. These are essential components. Through these three modules, the coins can simulate the effect of leaves. Okay, we will make some modifications to these modules to get better performance. These parameters are the values in the preview effect. If we want to change the performance of the effect, we can replace these values. So these are the parameters we are using. Then for aerodynamic drag, we need to use a curve to control it because these coins only need to float for a period of time, then they will only be affected by gravity force. At this time, no aerodynamic drag is needed, so we set a curve here. At the beginning, the value can be slightly smaller. Add velocity from point should be the main force, and then it will be quickly affected by aerodynamic drag, reaching 1 at 0.1 and returning to 0 at 0.3. That is to say, after 0.3, the influence of aerodynamic drag is no longer needed. Okay, this is the curve. The rest of the parameters are still set according to our needs. As for aligned spirit to mesh orientation, we do not need to adjust it. Next, add gravity force. Here we still use the curve to control. It is exactly the opposite of the curve in aerodynamics. 
it will be affected by gravity at 0.3, and then gradually increase to 1 at 1. Its value can also use a random value, negative 4000 to negative 3500. Now let's take a look at this effect in the level. Okay, we can see these particles scattered, then affected by aerodynamics, and finally affected by gravity. Yes, it is such an effect. Now we need to add collision. Let these particles detect the collision with the floor during the falling process. Here we choose GPU distance field and slightly modify its particle radius. Because the default radius is too small, the particles are hidden under the floor, so we need to increase this radius a little bit, set it to 13. As for the bounce and friction, they also need to be adjusted to simulate the effect of a real coin falling. Okay, this is a normal collision effect, but we will find that after the particles collide, the orientation of these meshes is a bit wrong. Normally, when these coins fall on the floor, they should be facing up, not diagonally. So in Niagara, we add align particles with collision plane. According to the initial state of the mesh, here we choose Z-axis alignment, the Z-axis facing up to the floor. This should be a good collision effect. Yes, it looks good. Now let's apply it to the character. Okay, next we create a simple blueprint to use this effect. First, add spawn system attached. We need to attach Niagara to our selected character. At this time, we need to create a variable, search for the variable type skeletal mesh actor. This is the character we can select in the level make it public and get skeletal mesh component. Attach it to the mesh. Then we can set its visibility. Because the character is eliminated, set it to invisible. Okay, that should be it. Let's take a look. Put this blueprint into the level. Then select the character in the level, let's play, the character disappears, and then this effect is spawned. Okay, that's all for this video, I hope you like it, bye.